Welcome to day 9 of my A4R Advent Calendar. In this series of videos I show you in 24 days how to program the 8-bit A4R microcontrollers. So we, here we have paper bag number 9, so let's take a look what's inside this paper bag. And here it goes. Inside this paper bag is this small 20 MHz crystal oscillator. And in today's video I want to show you how to speed up the clock speed of our Mega microcontroller by using an external crystal oscillator. So first you have to know a microcontroller needs a clock. This clock tells or this clock defines how fast the microcontroller can execute a single command. And most APID A4 microcontrollers have a built-in oscillator. For example, this Mega ADAPA microcontroller has a built-in 8 MHz um, oscillator. But the microcontroller supports higher clock frequencies. We can speed it up to 20 MHz. And if we want to use a higher um, clock, we could use an external oscillator or such a crystal oscillator like I have here. But how can we connect this crystal oscillator to our Mega ADAPA microcontroller? Well, let's take a look at the pinout. Below the ground pin we have two pins, XTEL1 and XTEL2, and all we have to do is we have to connect our crystal oscillator to these two pins here. So here is the circuit which we need, so this is our crystal oscillator. And it's recommended to use some small capacitors here to stabilize the oscillator, but you don't need them. So if you want to run this um, on a real PCB, I would recommend you to use these capacitors, but for our breadboard um, yeah, layout or design here, I think it's okay to skip them. This could lead that sometimes the clock is not 100% stable, but for our operation, this is okay. So now let me connect our crystal oscillator to the, these two pins and let's see if it, it runs at a, f a higher speed. So let me connect it. But we see nothing happens. Hmm. So it seems we have to change a little bit. But before we are doing so, let's take a look at the program which is running on this microcontroller. So let me navigate into my A4R Advent Calendars folder. Here I have a new folder 9Crystal. And inside this folder is the program which is running on this microcontroller. So basically I'm only um, setting port B pin 0 to an output and then I'm toggling the output pin in an endless loop and here I have a for loop to add a small delay. And that's about it. Okay, and now I want to tell the microcontroller to use this external crystal instead of, um, instead of the internal oscillator. So therefore you have to know you can change some settings of this microcontroller with fuses, with fuse bits. And here on this page, this is a calculator for the fuses of A4 or AP microcontrollers. So let me search for a Mega 88PA microcontroller. Here it is. And now, if the page is loading, yeah. Now I can see all the options I can set over these fuse bits. So what do we have here? So up here we can select the um, here we can select the oscillator. So currently by default it's using the internal RC oscillator at 8 MHz. And I can change this to um, to an external clock. So these three options here could be used if I would have a real oscillator connected to XTEL1, but I want to use an external crystal oscillator, and here I have to select the speeds. So I have a 20 MHz oscillator, so I will use this one here, frequency 8.0 MHz or more, this is what I will select, and here if this bit here is set, the clock will be divided internally by 8, so if I have an 8 MHz crystal, the actual clock frequency will be 1 MHz, but I won't use it. So maybe let's go over some more of these options here. 
So for example here we could disable the reset pin, but this would be really bad because if we disable the reset pin we cannot program the controller any longer. But this is something you maybe want to do if um, you have a real product and after it's programmed you don't want anyone to change this program. Or down here you can disable serial program downloading, so you can disable the SPI access to the flash. You can turn on the watchdog timer by default. And here you can select the boot vector and yeah, here you have some more options, but that's about it. Okay, so here I've um, selected the external crystal oscillator and the white clock by 8 internally. And now here we can see the, um, the fuse settings. And down here we have even the A4R dude command we need to use to apply these fuse settings. So let me copy them. And let's run sudo a4r dude. Um, oh, I want to use the USB ASP programmer. My microcontroller is M88PA. And now we'll just pass in here the fuse settings. So we have a low fuse, which will set to this value, a high fuse, which will set to this value, and the E fuse and the lock fuse here. So let me apply these values here. I have to give it my password. Okay, and now you can see the LED is blinking much faster. So now we have written to the fuses and this will lead um, or this will choose this external crystal to be used for clock generation. And if I disconnect the oscillator, yeah, it doesn't do anything now because the clock is missing. And if I reconnect it, the program runs again. Okay, cool. So that's how to speed up an at mega microcontroller by using an external crystal. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something and I hope I will see you tomorrow. Bye!